Welcome to our first Leap Code question that we're going to solve together. This is going to be an easy introduction to solving algorithms. So we're going to first see how we would intuitively sort of solve this question and hopefully it's not too difficult. And then we'll also see the time and space complexity of it. So this is question 217, contains duplicate. Given an integer array nums, return true if any value appears at least twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct. So if any element is duplicated in the array, we need to return true, otherwise we return false. So let's look at this example one. We can see that if the numbers one is duplicated a second time, we return true, and in the second example, we can see that one's not duplicated, so we return false, and there's no other duplication there. Let's start by creating a type, and we'll call that tally. And this is just going to be a map of numbers to numbers. So we'll have the num as the index, and we'll give that the type number, and then that's going to map to a number. So basically what this is, or what this type represents, is we're going to, um, it's essentially an object of keys and values where the key is the number that we're on and the second um, number or the value is gonna be the frequency. So what we would expect if there was no duplicates is to just always have a frequency of one. Um, but if we look up our number and it's O of one to look up by index, um, which is why we've chosen this map data structure. Um, essentially, you know, we can instantly tell if there's a duplicate or not by looking it up by index. So we create this tally variable, uh, which is of the type tally. And it's just erring because I haven't had have an equal sign there. Um, so we'll add that in, in a sec. But essentially, we're going to need to loop through all the elements in our array. So let's create a for loop. And this can be a let of um, because we don't necessarily need the index. So let num of nums. And then basically, if any of the numbers is in the um, our tally, we can say, well, okay, there is a duplicate. But before we do that, let's look up the number. So if we're looking for the number two, we can say, okay, tally two. Um, so the index is the number and then the frequency we've just set to one there. And then we can say, well, if we try to look for that number, um, so from the second iteration or another iteration and if that exists, well, it already exists, so we can just say, okay, well, we can return true because that is a duplicate in that case. Otherwise, we can just return false. So, yeah, we'll just add that equals there to the tally type. Okay, so it's been accepted. Let's look at the time and space complexity of this. So the time complexity, we see that we've got this for loop. So we need to do a memory lookup for each element in the array and recall uh, memory slot lookup is what we're, uh, you know, got our eyes on. So that's just going to be O of N because it's just the number of elements in the array. And that's the dominant term. So we don't need to consider other lookups if there were any. Um, the space complexity, that's going to be O of N. So the reason that's O of n is because we could, we might need to loop through our whole array before the duplicate um, is tracked at the very end of the array. And then we're sort of allocating a bit of space there. Um, so, you know, we need, to, we, we need to allocate space for each element essentially all the way up to the end. So we just say space of O of n. But we can actually do this in a one-liner if we just, um, sort of use a variation of the array data type. 
So let's just recreate our uh, method uh, here. So we've got this contains duplicate function here. And essentially what we can do is we can create a new set. So a set of numbers. So a set in um, JavaScript is simply uh, a unique um, array. So if you have the numbers one, one, two, three, it will just be uh, one, two, three. So you can just pass in nums there. And this will, um, well, we'll make this into two lines, but you could do this in one line if you want. So let's just add a unique nums identifier as the variable name, um, just to clearly suggest what it is. So essentially, if the numbers in the set is not equal to the numbers that got passed in, it means that there was a duplicate because the set can only take in unique numbers. So on a set, we use the size um, method. And basically, if that's not equal or if that size is less than because we've filtered some things out that have been duplicated, if the unique nums uh, set size, if that's less than the length of nums, essentially, um, well, that's going to indicate that we've, our numbers contain a duplicate. So the space, once again, is O of N because we're going to need to allocate memory for each of the um, elements in the set. So it's not O of 1, but it's O of N because uh, each, because we're not, um, we're not using a pointer to the existing numbers. We're reallocating memory for each number to create the set. Um, so it's actually going to be O of N and the time complexity um, is going to be O of 1. So please ignore the line 19 20. I think I got them mixed up, the time and space complexity there. Um, but the time complexity is O of 1. Well, it's actually, I think it is O of N because even though we're, um, when we allocate the memory, um, essentially we're going to need to look up the other existing array. So since we need to look at nums anyway and loop through that, we need to access each memory. So that's going to be O of N there. Um, so yeah, I think that actually is okay. And let's just go ahead and submit that. So we can see that this beats 96.8%, um, which is really good. Now we're often looking at the left-hand graph here because we're trying to optimize for the time complexity. Um, but note on the right there, you could, if you ask specifically, you might want to be optimizing for the space complexity. So we just talked about the, um, you know, how we can alter the data structure from an array to a set. Uh, in the next video, I want to look at the two sum problem.